Ooh. Everyone's sleeping right now, so you know, I'm tired, but I was like, damn, I can't really sleep to be fair. My brother actually came over today and uh, he got me something, <laughs> something really nice. Oh, yes. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. My South Africans will know what this is. Spalletta. Not just that, we got some South African candy as well, and a little bit of English because uh, these pens sell South African but also English products. I don't know why, don't ask me. Alright, my brother got me this bag. So I'm gonna show you the content of the bag. Oh, got some curly whirlies. Yes, sir, haven't had these in a while. Cheetos, crunchy cheese flavor, fried corn snack. This is English. I'm pretty sure I've had Cheetos before. We got some jelly tots as well. Cause you know why not and this stuff <laughs> oh man this is fucking insane these are like delicious i don't know how to pronounce them but like flavor toffee oh man we got banana i think this is yeah banana all right and we got cola yeah bro that's definitely good we have let's see what else we have yeah we got the original one which is the black one i'm pretty sure it's black a fruit punch i've never had fruit punch and we have oh wait i've also got a blue one i think yeah we've also got a blue one this one is buttermilk sounds pretty fucking gross no offense and we've got a lollipop but i'm not gonna consume a lollipop because i know you'll be sexualizing content creators and sucking on these lollipops like a penis so i ain't doing that <laughs> wait let's open this far letter i i actually haven't had this in a while also quite expensive to be fair it's not cheap man it's like one euro fifty a can well let's pop it open i think it's actually owned by coca-cola if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure this is uh yeah i think this is uh, I don't give a fuck. but yeah this is what it looks like it's green it's super sweet right for people who have never had it oh looks Packaging's already been opened. Alright, let's try it. Ah, oh, it's so fucking good. Oh, reminds me of zoo biscuits. If you know what I mean. If you ever had zoo biscuits, you know what it means. You know what? Actually, fuck no, there's not that much sugar in there. It's only 11.7 grams of sugar. That actually ain't too bad. Still a lot of sugar, obviously. Fuck, you know, let's be honest here, but the smell is fucking delicious. The smell is a 7.5 out of 10. It just reminds me so much of Zoo Biscuits. I don't know why, man. I think it reminds me of the blue one. Zoo Biscuits are illegal, by the way, because it actually contains medicinal for uh, veterinary, believe it or not. It's, yeah, they use it in veterinary clinics, so. Knickknacks are actually apparently also illegal because of a uh, copyright name, you know. I think something with the UK, they had like knickknacks and then South Africa had knickknacks and they were copied, so they got banned. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Also health reasons. Unfortunately, a lot of these like South African products contain very unsafe stuff, let's say like that. And your teeth become green. So let's try, that's fucking delicious, bro. I want to try out this one. I right? this cola one. I'm pretty sure there's no gelatin in it. It would be pretty fucking stupid. And even if there is, well, oh no, it says it here. Uh, no, it doesn't. Oh well, I don't give a shit. These are very hot. Hmm. Oh man, eating candy in the middle of the night. Wow. <laughs> I would have loved if I was stoned right now. Oh man, I would have loved it even more. Oh. oh that's fucking good. That's really good. I am dying for this fruit punch, but I'm not gonna fuck it up. I'm gonna keep that last one. Got the buttermilk original, and. Uh, yeah, bro, this stuff is, like, really good. You can only buy this individually. Oh, man, it's so good. It's very... I'm pretty sure it's got a lot of butter in it, though, or whatever it is. It don't really matter. Because we love the taste of it. The only thing is it's very sticky, so... You kind of have to be careful with that. God damn it, they manufactured it wrong. Look at that, there's paper in it, man. There you go, I got it. Mm. You could technically fit, fit three of these now. I stuck to my teeth. Mm, I give it a hug. It's licorice. I fucking hate licorice. I never liked it. This one looks very interesting. The buttermilk. Pretty sure I've never had this flavor. 
The thing is, they, they don't really smell that much. But these things are fucking delicious, bro. You cannot buy these in the stores. You have to go to these pens. You have to go to these pens to get these. You cannot buy these anywhere else. Get some of the paper. It's really weird. It, it smells like nothing. That's an odd taste. Mm, give it a 6 out of 10. It's not fantastic. It's not my type of stuff. We've got banana. I fucking absolutely despise banana flavored candy or just like banana in general with products. Always fucking dislike it, man. I never loved the taste of like banana. Just always tastes so fucking artificial, you know. <laughs> Might be the same with this one. And you know what makes these toffees so unique? Each individual toffee is a different design. Like they're never the same. I wonder if they're still making with hand. Oh. Fucking hell, this one's hard. Ow. The hell did they do this one? Ooh, this one's unedible. I hate to break it to you, but this one's fucking hard, bro. It's like I'm eating a rock. Can't eat this one, man. It's really painful. And let's hope the fruit punch ain't gonna do that. Fuck. That really hurt. That, that's weird. It shouldn't be that hard. I've never seen candy bricked up. Yeah, there you go. It's supposed to be like soft. Mmm. It smells delicious. Mmm. -hmm. But the real question is, does it taste good? Let's find out. Mmm, bubblegum. That's good. That's really nice. Oh, that's one definitely an 8.7 out of 10. Very nice flavor. Now, interesting enough, there's actually not that much sugar in here. Very surprised. Very surprised. Why am I surprised? Because, well, a lot of chips have got a lot of fucking sugar in them, in this, bro. I don't know why. Let's just it out. Small packaging, cute. The fuck, they smell like knickknacks. Yo, what the fuck? These smell like knickknacks. There's almost like nothing in this bag with a company. So let's try it out. Are these knickknacks? No. No, they almost knickknacks. I haven't had knickknacks in years. I taste butter. Crunchy. It's quite nice. You can taste the milk. It actually has a very nice, uh, exclusive, exquisite flavor to it. And it looks like some chicken feet. See, this is the fucking difference between European laws and American laws. If this was an American cheeto, it'd be dusted in fucking fake cheese powder. I'm sorry, man. I love you guys. You guys are my viewers. But I'm, I'm, I'm speaking facts here. No one pinch of fake cheese on there. Nothing. No, no fucking fake powder on there. Real powder. Salt, cheese powder from milk. Forget what I mean. Give it a 9 out of 10, it's really nice. Anyway, it's the curly woolly. Fuck me, I'm not eating no chocolate, man. Because I don't try to get diabetes. These jelly tots, and yes, these are vegan for your information. Whew, man. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't fucking know. It's a lot of sugar. I haven't had jelly tots in a while because you can't buy them here. They're like foreign things only. Where's the. We need the egg. Uh, these are very small, they look like my balls, bro. You ever seen someone's balls? Look how small. Fucking hell, these are tiny. I could taste the cheese more, actually. It is amazing. Mmm, with well, flavors combined, perfect. 7.2 out of 10. It's not amazing. It's not like the English one, if you get what I mean. And they're fucking delicious. Like, they are delicious, man, in my opinion. Like the English one, definitely my favorite. These, yeah, these Cheeto slash ripoff knickknacks. Actually, very good. Hmm, these are great snacks. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video. Thank you so much for watching, man.